Ali Baba. Ticker BA, BA. Not just an, an excellent investment opportunity, I think, but also a fascinating tale of the intersection between geopolitics and finance. In our previous discussions about BABA, we delved into their intriguing world, explored their financial prowess over the years, and how that fit into the ever-shifting market landscape. Today, we are embarking on another leg of that journey to unravel the tapestry of geopolitical dynamics and financial intricacies. We'll also further explore that potential trading opportunity surrounding BABA the Chinese e-commerce giant. I believe there is significant opportunity here, but I have to be cognizant of the geopolitical risks and the state of China-US relations. As tensions between the United States and China persist, the fate of companies like BABA hangs in the balance. There is a goal to contain China. The US government's strategic imperatives, driven by concerns over intellectual property protection and national security, fuels efforts to constrain China's global influence. You said they were making things? Yes, in some kind of machines. We didn't ask why. It's the clubs they murder those goats with. Shut up. China's expansion plans, though, despite this geopolitical headwind, China seeks to bolster overseas investments as evidenced by recent engagements with prominent business figures trying to encourage foreign direct investment. There's the Taiwan question. The contentious issue of Taiwan still looms large in China's geopolitical ambitions, posing potential ramifications for BABA and its peers amid escalating tensions. And these deeper explorations of the investment prospects Q3 earnings recap to start Alibaba had a robust performance. It was marked by a top and bottom line beat. Notably, the company's expanded buyback program signals confidence in its future trajectory, especially when you consider that alongside the insider purchases. Legitimacy concerns. While skepticism persists regarding the veracity of Baba's financial figures, the solid capital allocation strategy we know is true and the strong balance sheet that we do see offers reassurance and a degree of safety to investors. The investment rationale does take account of these geopolitical uncertainties and that's perhaps why Alibaba is the world's cheapest tech stock. Their undervaluation coupled with the formidable capital allocation plan and remaining growth potential as they shift from a value to growth based business, make it a compelling investment opportunity for those looking to capital appreciation, a long term investment, but a potentially hugely profitable one. So I really want to encourage community engagement around this ticker. I know a lot of my viewers invest in or are interested in GameStop CEO largest shareholder, Ryan Cohen, has money invested here in Alibaba. And I invite you, the audience, to actively participate in shaping this ongoing discourse between yourselves, each other, and me. Your input is invaluable and will help me foster a, a greater and more robust dialogue here. Do you agree that their strong balance sheet could be a good positive in their favor? 146 0.99 billion dollars in liquidity there. It's equivalent to 81.91% of its entire 180 billion market cap. Over 130 billion, huge chunk of revenue comes in every year just from the cloud business. Net income of 14 billion in the trailing 12 months. Potential valuation metrics of 8.3 times the 2024 earnings and 7.4 times the 2026 earnings. So the multiple here is tiny compared to typical tech stocks. There's the robust and attractive capital allocation plan, potentially including dividend initiation and share buybacks. 
totaling $35.4 billion over the next three years, equivalent to 20% of this company's market cap. Potential growth also available across many and diverse segments, including digital media, retail commerce, cloud infrastructure, logistics network, advertising. So with the $103 billion remaining in approved liquidity for share repurchases, an additional $25 billion authorized to buy back throughout until March 2027, and approximately $35.3 billion, that's only 20% then, 20% of this company's market cap will be available for trading, you know, over the next three years compared to the total market cap. And when you consider that that itself is is represented in 80% of liquid assets on the balance sheet already. And this is a tech stock. I mean, you want to fence off that bad data, you want to manage your risk, and you want to look for entries. www.discord.gg slash rocky outcrop. Despite I made some sort of uh, comments highlight the risks, we have seen Baba is one of the best risk reward stock maybe anywhere in the world. It's definitely the cheapest tech stock anywhere in the world. Welcome to the trade spotting chart where hopes and dreams meet ends and means. And here are those hopes and dreams. I'll explain not only the width and breadth of price action, the full girth for you, I'll also detail how price will get to these targets. So the why, the ends, the means for all of your hopes and dreams. The full entire price action of BABA is on the chart here. You can see it's beginning price here, the IPO, the all-time low, the retest of that, the liquidity zone, if this all-time low is exceeded to the downside, the potential based on the most recent oscillation low for stop loss and a potential entry, and then the downward slope and diagonal that has been resisting price action since that peak. You can see the phases of the market it took the time to get here, the time it likely takes to go through this phase entirely before you'll be able to define a significant new bullish trend or test in previous extremities to the top side. That'll be in around here, also 382 on time base Fib. As we look at these support and resistance levels and these important vertical marks on the chart, you've got the trade spot and targets one, two, three, top side of a gap fill here is target three and the trade spot and take profit is up at around 230 bucks. So how do you get there? If we go into the weekly time frame, make this point clear. Since the IPO, price action retraced back down to that all-time low, and that enters huge opportunity here for people looking at BABA. Obviously, the Chinese market itself gone through a little bit of difficulty, ADRs, where people trade this thing, four years of tough, tough times. Here's this downward slope and diagonal. Price action breaks it here. The RSI potentially pushing to the top side, has to break through the center line. And then the MACD crossing, also aiming for the center line, potentially happening in the next few weeks. Daily time frame there. Try and see if this auto works. It does. Excellent. And I'll get up the best indicator in the world. Rocky out crop, technical analysis toolkit. Absolutely love this thing and it'll populate the charts for me, so I hardly need to do any drawings. So you see a couple on the chart already. Those are these trade setups, the Rocky Outcrop Flash 77, spot 53. That's also the fake out area. So I don't really need to draw on the chart, but I'll do it to illustrate the point to you. First target there, if you're looking at this breakout trade, is in around 75 bucks. And then if that should break, you've got a gap fill at 81.63. That's also an important horizontal, 50% retracement as populated by the Rocky Outcrop Flash. You've got the fake out high, golden pocket retracement, another gap fill in at around 81 to 85 bucks, that zone. Close that zone, price action will be testing the downward sloping trend significantly and potentially breaking out. That I would measure above 96, the first target. To aim to on the top side daily time frame you can see it here rsi about to break through the center line macd similar situation four hour for more detail you've got your target one looks far away now oh wait till you're right up next to it downward slope and diagonal if that breaks it's very much clear that this four hour horizontal will be important at that stage price action will have closed these little intermittent gaps you see the top side 78 
needs to do it now though in order to be this trade to be on right now otherwise the retracements are back down to these potential entries in around 66 spot 5 a gap close bottom side and then test the low area of horizontal here if that doesn't hold if that doesn't hold and for hour you can tell potential divergence come in test this horizontal at 57 if that doesn't work out price action will conform to this downward sloping support line may well not be quite as dramatic you could take it to be a channel along the bottom of price action here anticipating a third touch and this is why you'd have to manage your risk because you've got one you've got two and if price action breaks this horizontal then you'll get three and that is a huge distance 56 bucks down to 31 you wouldn't want to be holding that so you need stops in this is why you'll always find the best trades come with the best stops this downward slope and diagonal offer an up potential opportunity to see that level of resistance above with the red downward slope and diagonal and the support with that horizontal dotted white line so that is a starting point of opportunity let me know what you think of that setup where you'd put your entry where you'd put your stop what sort of target let me know in the comments if you've got access to the discord you should have it's free let me know in there tag me let me know your thoughts I'd love to engage with you on this ticker thanks very much hit that like button the book club episode was fantastic it's available along with all of these indicators and premium access to the discord www.patreon.com slash rocky nothing scary yet Oh god, a four.